This is the moment that every mixed martial arts athlete hopes will materialize the number one heavyweight contender making the walk for his first title fight here in the UFC. I mean, the nerves are going crazy for this man right now. He's so nervous. Has he done everything he needs to do? Has he not left any stone unturned? He says that he has prepared. He says that his body's ready, his mind's ready. He feels physically good in the spot. He's taking on a long-rated champion. If he's going to get this done, it's going to take something truly special. He does not believe jitters will be a factor here tonight. He has built his career methodically to this point. We'll see if we hear the words and new by Mike respect and appreciation as we have for the skill sets of the lower weight class athletes there is nothing in pro sports quite like a ufc heavyweight championship fight that is a reality you've been there you've done that baddest man on the planet putting that very distinction on the line tonight yeah the champ walks again and he wears that proudly johnny wants to be called the champ he loves to be called the baddest man on the planet he is so skilled he's so dangerous he's so scary and he gets up for these types of challenges. He intends to never let go of his belt. He understands the challenge in front of him here tonight, but he has been forged by this training camp, the championship experience he has accrued, and we'll see if he can lead the way he enters as the greatest heavyweight in the world. Our tail of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. We send it inside the octagon. We find Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> First, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Lee. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Vicious. Herb Dean is your referee. Right. He's the third man in the octagon right. tonight. Yeah. Well, it's a venue that needs no introduction. The world's most famous arena, Madison Square Garden. And even for a Boston guy, I have levels of appreciation for the building. I mean, when you walk into MSG, you get chilled because you understand the history that comes with competing in this arena. Oh, big roundhouse attack. Oh. Jab. Back to the leg kick now. That one's no good. Oh, that one landed. Yep. Oh, beautiful jab by him there. Really taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. Oh, and the high kick lands. Just out of range with that right hand. Oh, he gets tagged there. Nice combination to the head. I give one, I take one. You give one, you take one. That's how this fight is being played out. Whiffs on that offering. Oh, straight punches there again. Counter jab, snaps the head back, that should 
get his attention. Well, he continues to stay busy, and he continues to land with volume punches here. I mean, volume, but he's not wasting anything. He's so accurate out there. Oh, back to the lead left, and it's good. Just over three minutes to go. Oh, misses with the jab. Trying to do damage now with the kick. That's a miss. Also, the taller fighter lands a knee yet again. Oh! He's hurt bad. Ooh, looking to go to the leg kick here, just out of range. Trying to establish that jab once again. That was great head movement. Oh, man. Oh, heavy kick downstairs. Oh, and he lands another knee there, DC. It doesn't oh, no. oh, just open it up on him now. Oh, he lands a big left hand. Under two minutes to go. All right, so an opportunity goes by the boards. He had him stunned, nearly finished, and now his opponent has recovered. His opponent recovered. Now he's got to feel everything that he's going to bring at him. He should have got the fight finished. Oh. Big shots being landed on both sides here. That opened up a cut above the eye here. Just misses with the straight right. Nice punch here. Circling away towards the left now. All right, so a good job defensively by him here as he raises the guard and prevents any damage. Shades of James Tony, Always seeing things coming at him. He's such a great defensive fighter. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. 45 seconds remain in the round. Outstanding placement as he lands the knee to the body. Again, the taller fighter making noise with a knee strike there. Well, we got a lot of blood now, ladies and gentlemen. I think my mother just turned off the TV, but every time that area gets tougher, that cut is getting worse and closer, theoretically, to the end of the fight. Yeah, and, you know, when you've got a person like this in front of you that is so good at what they do, when you are bleeding like this and the work is showing, you got to try to find a way to stop them. He needs to try to get a takedown or something. Because the more he's standing, the more he's going to have to deal with this cut. And now, all the blood is coming from the cut. Huh. Round two is next. All right, so the round is over, and you see the cut man not wasting any time as the fighter makes his way back to the stool. The cut man will try to shut that cut on the bridge of his nose and prevent it from becoming a factor here moving forward. All right, so let us now check out some of the action in that round, DC. There was a whole lot of it, including a stunner upstairs that nearly closed the show. It was a lot of action. It was back and forth action, but the big moment was that big strike to the head that landed, that put him on wobbly legs, and then survival mode. Luckily, he made it to the end of that round. You ready to fight? You ready? All right, round two. Great job getting that punch to the target. Oh. Oh, nicely done to block the strike and counter with the jab. Prioritize the finish.
Davis tonight absolutely gets it with style points. A huge, huge result here in this arena tonight. It's always fun to see an athlete tell you what they're going to do, and then they do it. This guy told us he was going to get a finish, and that's exactly what he did. Him and his team are going to have a fantastic time tonight celebrating. They should all be very proud. The official decision, it resides with Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 33 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by TKO. And still, the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, this time. Well, DC, you know what it's like to be the UFC heavyweight champion. It's not the easiest belt to defend. Kind of made it look easy to me. I mean, that's why the belt changes and changes so fast. Things change so quick at heavyweight. But with this gentleman, with this guy, you know that he has all the skills to reign atop a volatile division for a long time.